Are you trying to make a bootable USB key from an Ubuntu ISO file? Well, I'm Don Pazette, Edutainer at IT Pro TV, and in this Linux how-to, I'm going to walk you through the process. Unfortunately, creating a bootable USB key isn't as easy as just copying a file right over to the disk. It expects to have files in a particular spot, and that's going to require a little more effort. And the main reason we can't just copy the ISO file over is that it was originally designed to be burned to a CD or a DVD, not to a USB key. So there's a few things that we need to do to get this done the right way. Step one, we need to get the ISO file, which you can get right from Ubuntu's website. So if you go to ubuntu.com, you'll see at the top of the page a download link. Under download, you can choose the desktop or server version, and when you click on the green button, it will download the ISO file for that version. I've already downloaded mine to save a little bit of time. Then, you need a utility to actually write the disk. Now, a utility that I recommend is called Bellina Etcher. And the reason I recommend Etcher is that it's multi-platform. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So no matter what machine you're on right now, you will be able to make an Ubuntu installer from it. You download the application, install it, it is free, and then once it's done, we just need to tell it to make the key for us. So we'll download Etcher, install it, and then launch it. When you launch Etcher, it's a very simple application to use. It's just asking for three things. First, what image are we gonna use? Second, what disk are we going to write to? And third, permission to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my trusty USB key here and plug it into my computer. It doesn't matter if it's formatted, doesn't matter if it's set up for a Mac or Windows or Linux, it doesn't matter because Etcher is gonna overwrite all of that, but I do need to have it plugged in, that's kind of important. Then I need to select an image. I've got the ISO file for Ubuntu right here on my desktop, so I can just drag and drop that on there, or you could hit select and browse your hard drive and find it. Again, same across each of the platforms. Then I choose my target disk, so I'll go ahead and select target. And on here, it sees my backup hard drive that's one terabyte, that's not what I want, and it sees my SAN disk right here at 16 gigs. If you pick a bigger disk, it warns you, saying this might not be the right disk. I'll choose my USB key and hit continue, and now it's got all the information it needs. I can click flash, and it's going to start writing that. Now, it does need elevated privileges for it, so on a Mac, you'll get prompted for credentials. On Windows, you get the UAC prompt that I'm seeing here, and on Linux, you'll get prompted for your password as well. Once you say okay to that, though, it's gonna fire up and start to write that USB key. Now, it does take a bit of time. It's telling me mine's gonna take about three and a half to four minutes, but when it's done, I will now have a bootable USB key that I can take to any computer, boot off of it, and be running Ubuntu in a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching this Linux how-to video. Check out the playlist below for more Linux videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel.